Hi, welcome to this new, yeah, exactly, this new installment of the second one of English tutorials in this channel, which is a Spanish channel, but I'm doing it in English because I can. And this is my most, one, I think it's the third most popular in my channel, and it's the vintage look. It is so right, it's fancy, it is only three simple steps, and your result, it's amazing. It's professional, the way we roll here in this channel. Only professional stuff. So if you are not looking for professional, you can just like go away, okay? Well, let's get started, shall we? The first thing we need to do is that we need to uh, go to the new adjustment layer icon and we going to wash down a little bit the image so that means that we're gonna use selective color and let's go ahead and zoom a little bit just for you guys to see and if you're wondering what's was the model on the image it's Lindsay Wixon and she's my go-to model when I'm when I'm like wanna go like vintage she really do good in vintage for pictures so let's go ahead and um, go for the black uh, levels and we're going to use the vector here. I don't know how you call this guy, but I'm pretty sure it's not vector. <laughs> it's not like Hector, but uh, this is not the way you say it in English, but that's the way I say it in Spanish. So if you know how you can call this guy, just please let me know in the comments. And if, you know, we can fix that or just deal with it. Okay, so well, let's take the vector and let's move it a little bit to the uh, minus. Uh, so we're going to wash down a little bit the, the um, um, shadows. Okay, so I'm going to go minus 30 for, uh, 14 for this image because I think that um, the um, black or the shadows looks very washed down. We don't want to go all the way over here because that's not, that's just not what we're looking for. So let's just minus 14. Okay. And... Let's go to the colors, the neutrals, and let's move it a little bit to the plus, um, plus seven, because we're gonna like we we want we're looking for wash down, but also we're looking for um kind of like uh, overexposure a little bit, and sometimes when you overexpose, um you overexpose the neutral the i mean the the whites and the blacks the neutral kind of get kind of stay in the same a little bit when you are a little bit over exposure okay so let's take the whites and let's go to minus also you see it's kind of like a rc overexposure it's not like a camera overexposure okay so you get the you get the deal just figure it out you know half of learning photoshop is just figuring it out now, what we're going to do is that we're going to take the new adjustment layer and we're going to put the solid color so that will give us the vintage filter. We're going to put whatever color we want right now because we're going to, and I'm kind of wrapping, we're going to um, edit it back again. We're going to change it to exclusion and we can uh, choose from the range of Opacity, we're taking the opacity down and we're going to change for the range uh, of the 25 to the 35 percent. I'm going to go 30 in this picture. I think it's it's good. And now we're going to double click back to the um, a solid colored layer, adjustment layer. And I always find for vintage that in this range of gamma, I mean, this gamma of blues, light blue, the blue and the light, light blues, they kind of work for vintage. So I really like to stay in this area over here, this, this, this area here. And as you can see, this is very vintage looking. Now, um, an inside, a little bit of an inside. When you go for the saturated color, which is in all the way over here, and that's the result you have. But when you go for the like in whatever gamma of color you decide to work with, you know it, the same will happen if you go to the um like the green or the uh, red. But in this case, um, since I'm gonna stick to the blues, uh, if I go to the more like uh, black colors like more 
dark colors, uh, they kind of, um, everything that is not in the cooler tones will pop out. So if I go to the opposite, to the light one, will be, you know, the opposite. So I like to stay on the kind of middle ground, you know, not too dark, not too light. Okay. The last step is that we previously download on our desktop a picture that is kind of like a texture of like leaks. And how do I do that? Where do I get that? Well, in the description below, I uh, put a link for my blo blog of my blog of the channel and you can download there. Um, I think I put like over 15 uh, textures of light leak. So we're just gonna go file place. And this is the, the one that I choose. I already downloaded it to my desktop. So I'm gonna go place and I'm going to um, adjust the orient orientation orientation of the layer and then I'm going to go enter and that's it and then we're going to change it to screen and that's pretty much it and we're going to take the opacity down a little bit and that's it I hope you like it remember if you like it please let me know that you liked it because then I would be bolivious you know and I don't like to know things so just like thumbs up you know just thumbs up and if you have something you know to say about me if you don't like me or if you like me or if you just don't, if annoying or whatever i would like to know that too so you, you can put it on the comments too and if it's not you know it doesn't take that much just press the the damn button and just subscribe okay so that's the only thing you need to do and i hope you do it bye